Here are answers to some of the most common employer questions related to COVID. These answers come from the U.S. Equal Opportunity Employment Commission, what you should know about COVID-19 and the ADA and other EEO laws. As with any information related to COVID, this information can change. For more up-to-date information, please visit the EEOC's website. Let's scroll through section B. You can pause the video and read those questions. I'm going to get to the more commonly asked questions in section C. Hiring and onboarding. Under the ADA, prior to making a conditional job offer to an applicant, disability-related inquiries and medical exams are generally prohibited. They are permitted between the time of the offer and when the applicant begins work, provided they are required for everyone in the same job category. If an employer is hiring, may it screen applicants for symptoms of COVID-19? Yes. An employer may screen job applicants for symptoms of COVID-19 after making a conditional job offer as long as it does so for all entering employees in the same type of job. This ADA rule applies whether or not the applicant has a disability. May an employer take an applicant's temperature as part of a post-offer pre-employment medical exam? Yes. Any medical exams are permitted after an employer has made a conditional offer of employment. However, employers should be aware that some people with COVID-19 do not have a fever. May an employer delay the start date of an applicant who has COVID-19 or symptoms associated with it? Yes. According to current CDC guidelines, an individual who has COVID-19 or symptoms associated with it should not be in the workplace. May an employer withdraw a job offer when it needs the applicant to start immediately, but the individual has COVID-19 or symptoms of it? Based on current CDC guidelines, this individual cannot safely enter the workplace and therefore the employer may withdraw the job offer. May an employer postpone the start date or withdraw a job offer because the individual is 65 years old or pregnant, both of which place them at higher risk from COVID-19? No. The fact that the CDC has identified those who are 65 or older or pregnant women as being at greater risk does not justify unilaterally postponing the start date or withdrawing a job offer. However, an employer may choose to allow telework or to discuss with these individuals if they would like to postpone the start date. Section D, Reasonable Accommodations, contains 18 questions. Pause the video to read each question and its answer. There's a Section E, Pandemic-Related Harassment, Section F, Furloughs and Layoffs, Section G, Return to Work, and other sections. The information in this video pertains to those employers with 15 or more employees as it relates to the Americans with Disabilities Act and other EEOC laws. For more information, contact a licensed employment attorney or visit the EEOC website.
Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about business operations, business management, human resources, and other topics related to running a business, click on one of those play links. Click on one of these play Click on the playlist. One eternity later. Click on one of these playlists. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.